Anyways, I got some plans for both of these fish tanks today. A leaf fish? I've never even heard of that. Dude, now I want one. Oh, it's muddy. Oh, it's wet. Oh my gosh. All right, in the boys go. Why is it snowing again? I'm back from my Florida trip here, but it's gonna take me a hot minute to edit those videos. So just stay tuned for that. You might as well subscribe so you don't miss those videos when they come out here in the next few weeks. I'm hoping to just grind them out as fast as I can, but I do wanna take my time and make them good. Anyways, I got some plans for both of these fish tanks today. But since it is snowing, and it is currently March 13th, thir I don't think we're gonna have much snow after this. So I gotta enjoy it one last time. Let's get my snow. I was trying to be funny and hit my head in the garage, but I completely missed, so we're not even gonna try it anymore. Anyways, let's grab this sled. This is the best sled on the market. Just look at this thing. She don't come from it, but now she ain't running from it. You're on the phone with your girlfriend, she's upset. To a Broadway city girl turned into a red dirt wild child. She's going off about something that you said. Someone had safety glasses, dude. They were getting at it at this hill. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Dude, it's literally all water right there. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Just literally a puddle of water. I wonder if there's any fish in here. But it is pretty deep. Um, Someone also, that was probably the person that had the safety glasses, dude. They freaking broke their sled. A little point of view. Woo! Oh, oh my gosh, the hay bale. Oh, oh, the sled. The sled. Oh my gosh. I'm literally completely soaked from that puddle. Now that that mess is over with, let's go to the fish store. I just stopped at the store and got this acrylic sheet to make as the lid for a Larry's tank. We're gonna have to cut it just a little bit more for the filter and a little spot to like feed them, like, you know, like little salt bay action. Anyways, I'm at the fish store right over there and we're gonna go pick up a new fish and I think a new plant. That's my idea in mind. I don't really know what fish I'm gonna get. I have somewhat of an idea. But I'm gonna look around first. Dude, I've never heard of that fish before. Look at how sweet it is though. A leaf fish? I never even heard of that. Dude, now I want one. I don't know what that plant is, but that looks really cool. I'm gonna ask about it. Dude, that is the freaking coolest looking beta fish I've ever seen. Too bad it's sold though. But what I actually came here to look for is these guys right here, the German rams. I, I don't know why, but I find such a fascination with these fish right here. They just look so dang cool, dude. And I want them really badly, but I'm gonna make sure they're like compatible with my tank first. Well, we just picked up what we wanted. I got this plant. I don't even know what the frick it's called. I was in there, but I completely forgot already. But it looks cool, so I bought it. Anyways, my boys right here, I got two German Rams. Uh, they look so cool. I don't know why. They're so expensive, they're 15 bucks each. But I just wanted them so bad. I don't know why they look so cool. When I first bought my the rest of my fish, I saw these guys and I was like, I am going to get these guys one day. And today is that day. I spent a fat rack on fish, 30 bucks for two fish. I've never done that before, but they look so dang cool. Here we go, guys. Uh, their names are Raphael and Leonardo. Let's put them in the tank. Time to let our friends sit there for approximately like 20 to 30 minutes while I try to cut this thing. Safety first, guys. Let's go. All about safety on this channel. Just like that, there she is. That's the piece where the filter needs to go. I'm also thinking about cutting a little hole right here so I can feed them through there so I don't have to keep constantly lifting the lid up. So that's what we're gonna do. Just like that, there we go. All right, so I rinsed the sheet off and made sure everything was chipped off so nothing falls in the tank. And now let's see if she fits. She fits perfect right there. Let's go, my calculations actually worked out. See, I do have a brain up there somewhere. There she is, Larry has a lid now in the tank. So theoretically, that should help with the water evaporation from what I've researched, and also he won't jump out. He hasn't jumped out, I didn't have a lid on this for like a month. Not that I, that was my worry, but that's also something that could happen. I'm actually gonna put this plant in here right now as well. Oh, and also I'm gonna show you guys what I did to this tank right here. I have the rest of this bag of sand from Larry's tank. I'm just gonna dump it in this big tank now. Cause there's literally like not even an inch of sand in there. It's really low. Now there's actually a nice thick layer of sand in this tank. See that brown sand right there? Yeah, that's how much it was. There was literally nothing. So yeah, there's actually sand, so this thing will have enough sand to root down there, which is why I had more sand in the first place. But yeah, well, let's get this dude in the tank. Like I said, I completely forgot what he's called. That's just completely my bad. 
but we're gonna send them in there. It's very grass-like. It kind of looks like seaweed in a lake, which was kind of my aim to go for like a very natural feel. But I, I, I guess I'm just gonna shove it in the sand. I, I don't really know. Maybe. Okay, that that thing actually looks so freaking sweet in there, though. I really hope he lives because I would like to replace all these fake plants with live plants, but we're just going to test it out real quick and see how this guy does. We're going to add some root tabs in there as well to help him grow. Actually, I'm going to freaking find out what plant that is so I can see the proper way to care for it. Okay, it was a Mayaka Vendeli. I can't find any info if they need root tabs or not, but I'll probably just throw a few in there just uh, for good measure. And I also have this uh, water fertilizer right here that I'll probably throw in there as well. But I'm going to replant it and try to separate them a little bit because it said not to just put them all together in a big clump which I just did. All right, there we go. Made a little gap between them all. Ready to get the boys in. All right, in the boys go. Dude, they look so cool. Uh, from their tank, they had some little like lily pads and stuff in here. So I'm actually gonna throw these into Larry's tank and maybe it'll grow and make some cover for him. Oh my gosh, Larry's eating them. Uh, so that's what that's looking like. There's some little lily pads up there. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna grow, what it's gonna do. But I figured I'd try to give them some cover because I know they like tanks like that with like stuff over the top. Or I've at least seen people do it sometimes. But now we got the boys right there, the German Rams. Look at that dude. They just look so cool. I don't know why I love them so much, but just something about these little guys I just love so much. They are so dang cute. So look at those two guys just digging around right now. Uh, I'll give you guys updates on how they're doing in future videos. But yeah, that's all I got right now. We got some new fish, got some new plants, and did some work on Larry's tank over there. So yeah, there we have it. It's March 13th, still currently snowing. I finally got Larry a lid on his tank, and I got those two new German Rams, which are super awesome. I've been wanting to get them ever since I saw them at the store the first time, like two or three months ago. I don't know how long ago. I think it was in December. Yeah, it was in December. But anyways, I'm really hoping the snow can go away like ASAP, and the spawn can start hitting here probably the next three weeks. I'm assuming the start of April, things should start warming up, the bass should start biting, and things should be looking good for this spring. Hopefully I can catch a five, six, seven pounder. I don't really know how, what's gonna go on, but I'm hoping I can break my PB. As you guys know, I did last year, that five pounder I caught on an ice fishing rod, still an awesome catch to this day, but I'm really hoping that I can break it this year. Anyways, that's where I'm gonna end this one. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up and stay tuned for the Florida vids that we'll be pumping out here in the next few weeks. And as always folks, fish with passion. Can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know, I wanna know